Hello everyone and welcome back. It is time to resume our shiny Latias hunt. Again, this thing doesn't exist. This this thing does not freaking exist and you can't convince me otherwise. Uh, so yesterday we did our usual random shiny Dynamax adventure hunt and we have a new thumbnail today. Let's see how this goes. We, we are experimenting a little bit with things. But welcome in everybody. Let's go. Standard link code, 192837468. And we are continuing our double over odds hunt for this thing. Um, I'm just making a little Godzilla fan 2024. I'm, I'm expecting we're going to get to maybe 246 encounters today. And not get the shiny. But who knows, we might actually get lucky. I mean, you never know. You know, Latias may decide to be nice for once. Even though she has decided to not be nice to us for li uh, lately. Uh, glad to see that the draft video has actually been doing quite well. Again, Godzilla-themed draft lineup. Uh, which reminds me, I probably need to schedule on my match with Kason. I need to start scheduling that soon. Unless uh, Kason already pinged me. Oh, yeah, Kason already pinged me. Um, Kason. Um, uh, he play week two. I'm free on Wednesday, otherwise I would need to be Saturday to Sunday. It was a week for you. Um, yeah. Works best. Might be able to make. Two, uh, might be able to make wet. But plan for. Um. Oh no. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got our match scheduled then. That's good. Yeah. Kason's the one with the iron. Thorns, if I recall correctly. Yes, Kason. Alright. But how is everyone doing today? Uh, actually, start replay buffer. And pause that. Cause I, don't, I don't know why the thing immediately starts up recording. Yeah, he has Terra Iron Thorns. Yeah, Terra Iron Thorns with Terra Grass makes sense against me, considering its crippling weakness to both both Terra Fairy and Terra Grass, because there is weakness to uh, weakness to ground. So he might actually bring it. I mean, I would I would love to see him bring Terra Grass on that thing against me. Glad you're doing well. But you got this. Don't lose hope. Trust me, I don't lose hope. If I if I didn't lose hope during the shiny Ho O -Oh hunt. I'm not going to lose hope on this thing. Because this 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 is nothing compared to what Ho-Oh was. Again, Ho-Oh was a year and a half and some change. Alright, yes, we can go solo. We're, we're going Han style solo. Yeah, we are. We are going for the internet, alright. Right, yeah, the first, the first day is always solo. Yeah, that was before you, uh, you, we, uh, you met us, Wilkins. That... That that was a while ago. Yeah, that was that was um that was one of our earliest shiny hunts we actually did. Ooh, Lycanroc, I can take that. Yeah, Lycanroc is actually probably a pretty decent ants. Ooh, more Pico. Okay, NPC bot took more Pico. Good. Very rarely do NPCs make a, a W call. So I guess I guess my goal is try and make sure they hold on to that more Pico, depending on what our options are. Actually, no. Yeah, no, it's not not worth it. All right, so in that case, we go. I mean, in that case, then we just go shiny check pathing. We just go check shiny pathings. Yeah, I met you from Thunderstream. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, you met us from Thunderstream. We did the shiny Ho-Oh hunting a long time ago. That started back in 2021. And it finished in 
April of 2023. So that they, that went on for a long time. I'm actually going to go Dynamax and use Max of Darkness on this thing. I'm not going to go for Max Rockfall, because I want to save those for potentially Latias, depending on what it morphs into typing-wise. And also, if I use Max Darkness, it actually decreases its special defense, allowing for Thunderbolt to do more damage from the Morphic Goal. I'm glad you're doing well, guys. All in that production. I'm glad you're doing well. I, I just I just really, really hope Kason brings that Iron Thorns. I really hope he brings it. Again, Terra Fairy and Terra Grass do match well in a... That's what a quad weakness does with low physical defense. Oh, I love it. Uh, I think... Some, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you actually do well, Morpico. Morpico or DNA? Overall, I would say Morpico is a much better Pokemon in Dynamax Adventures. But as Pokemon go, I still say Morpico is better. Because it has a better overall stat line. Yeah, they... Dedenne's special attack is a lot lower than I thought. It's so, like, I, I didn't think its special attack was like 88 or something. Let, let's actually go check again. Because I want to I like double, triple, quadruple check. Max, yeah. Oh yeah, you're a friendly reminder. Uh, Talonflame has a lower physical attack than Amoongoth. Oh yeah, right, I just opened up one of my pages, and again, it, it reopened the page of the, uh, Korean Baseball Trophy, where, for one year, the Korean Baseball, like, basically the Korean version of the World Series, their trophy at the end of the season was a giant sword. It's like, yes. That's awesome. Like that's that's absolutely you know, like every they have a, a, their, their trophies like a different thing and it's like that's amazing, that's glorious. Um, stats. Let's go check out Dedenne's stats. I do need again a shiny check of you, Dedenne, the Dedenne thing. But yeah, I am okay. I have eleven Mario and 12, 11 Pokemon plushies. I mean, I know people that have more. That's that's pretty okay. That's not too insane. Yeah, 81 special attack on Dedenne. More Pico. More Pico. Let's go check out more Pico stats. No switch. More Pico stats. 95 physical attack, 70 special attack, and again, better. Yeah. Overall, I think that. As a Pokemon, Dedenne is worse than Morpico. Typing-wise, Dedenne has a better typing. Yeah, that's one of the lower ones I know. Ooh, I will take the Lorb. Ponder the Lorb. I, I, would, I would love to get a, a purple glass ball that looks just like the Life Orb at some point in the future. Just, just to have just behind me somewhere, that would be great. And if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. But let's go. Um. Basically, there's no real reason for me to use Taunt. Dark Pulse. Yeah, that's. Like, that's, that's still some decent damage, all things considered. That's. What is the weakest type combination? Weakest type combination, I would say, is Grass Ice. It is tied for the most number of weaknesses with two other type combinations at seven weaknesses while offering very, very, very minimal offensive benefits. Because as, as an offensive typing, Ice is actually very good. It's just that... Grass doesn't. Now that's, it's kind of funny to say that when double typed uh, grass Pokemon do actually tend to have some of the best defensive typing combinations in the franchise. Look at Ferrothorn, look at Cradilly. They're, they tend to be very good defensively because grass has very unorthodox weaknesses 
and very unorthodox resistance overlap with a lot of other typings. Like, again, the best example is look at Cray Dilly. You have rock and you have grass, two typings which are known for a pretty large number of weaknesses, you know, relatively speaking. But you put the two of them together, that's, that's a very awkward typing to deal with. Yeah, I'll go for this because I want. I want to make. I want. I'll go for this one. But yeah, no, it, it's again. It, it's a very interesting thing. Yeah, so almost like that's kind of one of the reasons why, when it comes to types in Pokemon, the is fighting. no fighting is not weak to electric. Um, ele uh, the only things weak to electric are flying and water. Hello there, SA14. How do you do? Hope you are doing very well. Hope you're doing well today. I mean, r realistically speaking, a lot of things would be weak to fire and be weak to electric. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of... Yeah, see that that's Mandine does have very very high sp uh, special defense. Not a Pokemon I typically say good things about, but it does have very good phys uh, very good special defense. Physically, eh, it's not great, but it's not bad. Hello there, Hammerhead 400. Absolutely epic name. Hello there, Mr. Matt. I don't know because I haven't been in those. It is good to see you again. It is good to see you again. Can you get like an accuracy up or special attack up? I mean, at least that's okay. That's, that's kind of okay. Bien, I mean, I, I didn't realize that water used to resist steel. You know, it, 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 even, you know, me, the guy who knows a lot of competitive stuff, didn't know what typing resisted water. I mean, one of my friends who's been playing Pokemon longer than I have, didn't know until, like, at the time, about two years ago. Well, at, at the time that I learned this about him, he only learned this, like, a few, maybe, like, months prior that bug resisted ground because I mentioned it to him when I was talking about Volcarona that Volcarona wasn't weak to ground because bug resists ground yeah it, it's yeah it, again it, it's very logical a lot of people wouldn't real uh, wouldn't realize that ground uh, bug resists ground because a lot of stuff back in Gen 1 was like grass poison and bug poison, so a lot of it was neutral to it. And then a lot of the things that were also part ground actually had another typing that made them weak to ground. So a lot of people like sort of like, oh, well, ground's weak to ground, uh, and just like a bug and poison are neutral to ground. Um, why is it Beak Bust a fire move? Because the word It is because it is two cannons' signature move. The idea with Beak Blast is two cannons beak heats up and becomes burning hot. And then if you touch the beak, it will burn you. But it, it executes normally as a move. It doesn't deal... It, it doesn't inflict a burn when you use it. It's if you make contact with it while it's using it. Think of it a bit like Baneful Bunker. Hello there, top hatted Whooper. How do you do? How do you do? You know, it, it kind of makes a little, a little bit of sense. But again, there's some Pokemon moves that just don't really make a whole lot of sense, but others that do. Again, Pokemon stuff. Let's go and find out. And if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to leave a like on the stream. If you haven't done so already, and subscribe for more. Alright, it is... You know what? I'm gonna not let you use freaking Reflect Type. Doing good. Decided to finally finish the sword decks. Good luck on that. You know what? I'm okay with this. I am entirely okay with Latias using Reflect Type on that one because now I can hit it with rock moves. I am entirely okay with this. Uh, sure, Cohen. You can say something. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's perfectly fine that you did that, because you're now weak to rock. And you also can't use Reflect-type again. 
So we actually can do a lot more damage to you. You can't burn it. But uh, not like it matters. Because then we got the life orb in play. Um, I... Uh, the Magnemite doesn't have a bit. I, I disagree on that. Because if you gave the Magneton family Levitate, that would be insane. You gotta remember, Magneton is steel and electric. One of, in general, the best defensive type combinations there is. At the same time, the only thing that really holds it back is that Earthquake and ground moves in general are relatively common. You now take that away. You make them completely immune to their biggest weakness. They're only weak to fire, they're only weak to fighting at that point. They basically become able to destroy so much. Because back in the day, uh, back in the day of Generation, uh, Generation 5, the Magneton family would actually carry the move Magnet Rise specifically for that reason. You'd basically call, oh, well, someone's switching in an Excadrill on me. Boop, click Magnet Rise. Excadrill could do absolutely nothing to the Magnet at that point. And then you had just Magnet pull and play, and that traps Excadrill, and Excadrill's gone. Because you have Hidden Power Fire back then. Yeah. Eat. It would make the magnets absolutely horrifying levels of powerful. Uh, depends on what stats your Magnezone... It depends on what stats you're wanting to raise on your Magnezone and, like, what Pokemon you're, you want to use. Magnezone would levitate would... Yeah, Ma Magnezone and, like, the Magneton family would levitate is just insane. It's just absolutely demolition. Hello there, Shiny Umbreon. How do you do? Again, guys, I haven't done so already. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like on the stream. And let's get our first Latias Shiny check if you played Pokemon Uranium. Um, I have not. I'm pretty sure the first time I heard about Uranium was after the game was, like, taken off of the internet. But I have, I have heard of it. I've never played it. I mean, Nightbot goes off automatically. Nightbot goes off on a timer, but also so we can insult Nightbot. First live check that I is Really? I thought that, like, Game Freak launched a lawsuit that made it get scrubbed off the internet. Interesting. Interesting. Did not know that. See, that's why we have Nightbot going off automatically, so Roos can yell at it. Thank you, Chicken Man. All right, first Latias shiny check again. If we get Latias's shiny um, on this, then we switch over, I guess, to Groudon. I don't know. Nightbot doesn't shut up, is why. Nightbot never shuts up. No shiny Mantine. No shiny Alolan Raichu. No shiny Clang. No shiny Latias. Doesn't exist. Because Roost is funny. Roost is hilarious because Roost is funny. Your age of robotic tyranny will never come to light. You massive line of gods. Get any Pokemon that can make a bomb DA. We're doing a shiny living dex. So we need to get everything in the game. But also, Latias is on my draft league team, top headed whooper. And I would like to get a shiny Latias for the draft team before the draft ends. All right, link code is going up if you would like to join. Link code is 19283746. Feel free to join. We're more than happy to have you. I got Tyranitar alert. I mean, that's Iron Thorns, which, funnily enough, is my matchup against uh, Week 2 UNPL. Based. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really hoping. Just trying to survive, rocking two hours of sleep. I got, I'm, okay, I, I gotta send that gift to Tenchi, because Nova sent that, and like, okay, Ten, Ten, Tenchi's gonna like that one.
crafting. There we go. And now I can get that out of my favorites. There we go. Again, anybody wants to pop in, feel free to join. Feel free to join. Run for your lives, Balloon Electric. Max says, what type of combination would have zero weaknesses? Um, there is no type combination that would have no weakness. Also, thank you very much, whoever subscribed. Yeah, no type combination would ever be able to give no weaknesses. It requires abilities at this point to have a typing with no weaknesses. That's why Electros, we love Electros, because it is a levitate electric type. So, it's not weak to ground. But it is still weak to ground via Mold Breaker or Gravity being in play, or the move Smackdown. Uh, but yeah, again, there is... The, the only way for a Pokemon to have no weakness these days is via abilities. Like, say, giving Flash Fire to a Scizor, Genesect, or... Yes, yeah, Caesar, Genosect, uh, Scavalier, Fortress, because the only weakness is fire. Yes, Dark Ghost did have no weakness until Generation 6. That is the only caveat, but that is something that no longer exists because Fairy exists. But even then, um, Forest Light would actually allow it to be weak to fighting. Drifiplin? Ah, uh, yes, Zeppelin Drifblim. I mean, Drift, giving an evolution to Drift Blim would be nightmarish, because that thing's already fantastic as is. Even if, like, like, even if it just increased its, like, damage stat, like its attacking stats, that'd still be horrifying, because that thing already does decent damage. Not really. I don't really generally look at fan art things, but hello there, Omar. How do you do today? Welcome in, everybody. All right. Ooh, um, Macho, go for the Alolan Doug Trio. I want you to pick up the Alolan Doug Trio. Unless we get something better in in place of the Alolan Sand Slash. Go for the Alolan Doug Trio. That thing's amazing. Its screech access is fantastic. Oh, rare, rare NPC AI bot win. They picked up a Porion, which I did want them to take because of Weather Ball. Making aftermath stronger. Yeah, I mean aftermath is not a very good, uh, very good ability. I mean sometimes it is useful, but in general, it is better not to go with it. All right, we are sticking to. We're sticking specifically to the right side pathing, and we go. Vanillish. Lycanroc Midday, and then we go for the Galarian Lenoon. <laughs> That's important to say. This game? Dang, fairies. Fairy God Parents! Um, wait, when you say my favorite Elite Four, do you mean my favorite single member of any Elite Four? throughout any of the games, or as in, like, my favorite group of four Elite Four members. Because that that has a bit of a different meaning, depending on which one that is. It became confused. George Nanch. Favorite group, okay. Um, I'd say probably the Unova Elite Four. Probably the Unova Elite Four. Hyper Voice does nothing to us. Thank you for using that. Actually, even Ice Beam would barely do anything to us. That does barely any damage to any of us. Very to say is if you want to make it even stronger. Yeah, like, even like, for as not great of an ability generally as Aftermath is, there are still usages for it in Draft League to punish physical attackers. Absolutely game and You can Dynamax if you want. Um, you can Dynamax if you want. Yeah. Generally, if you... Okay. Generally, if you're, if you're joining Dynamax Adventures, if you have a Pokemon with a high attacking stat and a good move, generally Dynamax if it's high attacking. 
But if you're using a Pokemon like, say, Clefairy, Clefa uh, Clefairy, uh, like a, or a not fully evolved Pokemon, generally don't Dynamax, they don't have attacking power. Aside from Galar and Lanoon. Here. Black and white manga. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, the, the, the manga's crazy. What's the worst ability for a glass cannon? Truant. Truant is by far the worst ability for a glass cannon. Because even, like, even slow start, I mean, the only thing that gets slow start is uh, Regigigas, and Regigigas has Protect now. Like, yeah, by the way, um, that actually makes Regigigas pretty good. That it gets Protect now. Gen 1 manga killed us. I mean, Gen 1 manga, you have that, that freaking Charmeleon that slices the Arbok in half. Like, it, it, it's crazy. Like, anytime someone ever says Pokemon is for kids, I call BS on that. We go for the Lycanroc. That was a sub to fail. I mean, yeah, but it's still freaking terrifying. It's still freaking horrifying. Again, Gen 1's crit, Gen, like, the manga has zero chill. Hello there, Gunthan. Can you can one of the mods go grab Gunthan's link, please? How do you do? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing delightful today. I I I need to find out if Kason's gonna. Okay, well then, I don't think Kason's gonna mention if he's gonna be bringing his paradox thing. But it'll be great if he brings it. Um. He can't really do any damage to any of us. There's no really need for it. Maxi and Archie right here. Yeah. I mean, you got that part in, like, the, the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire thing where, like, Rayquaza game ends freaking Zinnia. It's like... The manga is, is, is crazy. It is... The, the manga is, is freaking brutal. Does my butt eat? I have no idea what that is, Cohen. Yeah, again, the, the manga is just absolutely zero chill and, and terrifying. It's its favorite Pokemon remake. So, this, when I say my favorite remake, it's probably going to be a bit controversial. But, for me, the, the best remake is, on principle, the game that best updates the original. Bringing back what was good about the original, improving on its failings while still remaining faithful. And that includes both post-game and mid-game. Which is why my favorite remake is BDSP. The reason for it is it is a vastly more playable version of Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl was my, fav was, was my first game. Those games are great. I love the characters. I love the story. However, there were a lot of problems involving the initial availability of Pokemon, limiting you extremely heavily to what species you're able to use. BDSP completely fixes that. You have all of the Sin you have almost all of the Sinnoh Ascended evolutions. I believe there is only three or four of them you're unable to get, and two of those are Eevee, uh, Eevee for Glaceon and uh, Leafeon, and the other two I believe are Gliscor. And Tangela, because Tangle is specifically post-game. But overall, it brings back a lot of what was great about the original Sinnoh games, and it removes a lot of the problems. It brings the the gameplay up to the modern day, while also cutting out the uh, the insane level grind. Where. Because this is one thing that we f we figured out when doing the uh yeah gen hard gold and soul silver. I think when it comes to updating the games, I think heart gold soul silver did well. But one thing about heart gold soul silver that I know personally is is not a favorite point for me is the level grinding. You know it's it's. Johto does have one of the steepest level spikes. Uh, you can use Screech if you want. 
Yeah, I, the Johto games have some of the steepest level spikes in the games. At the same time, they also have one of the worst availabilities for, uh, for level grinding. Unless you have the Poke Walker, but even then you basically require the Poke Walker for that. Hello there, Cookie SMG4. Yeah, again, Huggles is over a great game. Um, the, the only thing that holds it back for me is just like the level grind where when I was replaying that game, I needed to spend, I think, what, four or five hours level grinding up to be able to just fight the Elite Four because, again, the level spikes were so massive. And that's one thing BDSP fixes, where, because BDSP actually has, I believe, the most severe level spike of anything in the series, but now it gives you an adequate place to level your team up, as well as the EXP all, like, completely just d destroys that. It cuts down level grinding time, like, three and a half fold, at bare minimum. In reality, it's maybe it cuts it down to maybe a, a fifth or sixth of what it is normally. It's fantastic. I've been playing it since Red and Blue. They are still the best of me. I get the level spikes that make it work for it. Yeah, I can understand that. But for me, it's kind of a thing of... I fight NPCs at even level. Because that's, to me, the intended level of what you're supposed to be by that point in the game. So, if you're fighting stuff that's level, like, 65, and you're only level 50, is like... I don't find that as fun because, like, I'm 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 deliberately putting myself at a disadvantage. So I go to fight them on even terms. And back in the days of Gen One through Three, where the badge boosts were in play, I feel like underleveled battling was definitely a lot more achievable. But without the badge boosts in play, it it does make you need to really, you know, eke out every one of those levels. You help me, I can't get back to the Sword and Shield. Uh, what do you mean, Sasha Williams? Uh, what do you mean? You know, no, 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 don't switch. Um, I kind of want, I want you to keep the, um, the Doug Trio. Have Doug Trio use Screech turn one against Latias. Yeah, I, I do see the logic on both. For me, I, what is your favorite start from each gen? Ooh, good question. Yeah, for me, it's, that's why I really do like the EXP all being in play, because it completely destroys any need to level grind. Um, by the way, got a new tattoo, Mega Charizard X, nice. Favorite starter from each gen. I will save the gen one favorite starter for last, but for the other gens in order, it is Totodile. Well, I'm not surprised by that. Totodile. Then... Swampert. Infernape. Samurott. Chestnut. Gen 7 is the one I struggle with, because I love all three of them, but I think I have to go for Incineroar there. Rillaboom, Skeledurge, and for Gen 1, I bond with a, with a Pokemon based on in-game play experience, so using them on a team in a story playthrough and using them on a team in competitive, be it Draft League, VGC, Smoke on Singles, you know, whatever form of it. And I bonded with this one because originally I hated it. But then I used it on a team in Let's Go Pikachu. It was it was good. And then I used it on a team in uh, Sword and Shield VGC. And I was like, you know what? This thing's actually really good. I like it. And that's Charizard. Uh, Lyas's hands are so small because it's aerodynamic. It needs, you know, fold the hands against its body so it can be streamlined and fly. Again, the things fly out like, what, Mach 4? They're little jet planes. Ooh. Ooh, crit. Absolute game ending. The funny thing is, it's kind of in spite of the support, I actually like the Charizard. I don't like the Megas, and I don't like the, the, the G-Max. I used a base Charizard. No Megas, no fancy bells and whistles, just the Pokemon as it is. And I was like, you know what? It's not the greatest thing in the world. But as an attacker, it does what it needs to. 
You know, I use it on a sun team. It does very well on a sun team. Solar beam, sunny day. Well, solar beam drought alongside of a Groudon. High-powered fire moves with drought because all the Kanto starters got access to a weather uh, weather-related ability with the hidden abilities. Life orb. It does what it does very well. The G Max really didn't change all that much about how much power Charizard would have had as a Dynamax back in Sword and Shield. It was like on its own merits, I can respect it. I hate the extra kidding Charizard gets throughout every gen. Where if it wasn't for the extra kidding, I would have liked it a lot more. But I can sort of look past the extra kidding. You know, it's like I, I can respect it on its own merits, which I always encourage everyone to do. If there's a Pokemon you don't like, if there's a Pokemon you think gets, like, too much fan service kidding out, always look at it, you know, use it in a playthrough without all the extra kidding stuff. You know, experience it as it is without the extra fan service things to see what it is at its base. Link code is live if anybody wants to join. Feel free. But yeah, no, it is, it is Charizard. I'm doing very well. Hello, David. Yeah. The funny thing is, Charizard's fan service really didn't start out until Gen 6. Like, before then, Charizard really didn't get any special treatment. The closest you could say it got. Thank you very much, whoever subscribed. The closest you could say was Gen 5 giving it solar power as a hidden ability. But even then, Venusaur got Chlorophyll, which debatably, that's a far better ability for what Venusaur is, as opposed to solar power for what Charizard is, than, you know, yeah, anything else. On top of all the other hidden abilities a lot of other Pokemon got, I mean, Blaziken getting speed boost. You had, yeah, you Blaziken Speed Boost, Multi Scale for Dragonite, Moxie for Salamence, Moxie for Gyarados. There were a lot of Pokemon that got a lot of other very, very fantastic hidden abilities. You know, Justified Lucario. I'm doing very well, David. Yeah, it it does get a lot of fan service, and that's that's the reason why I always encourage people to sort of look at a Pokemon and use it in a, a solo playthrough with all the fan service just stripped off it. So you can see the Pokemon at its base. You know, this is what the Pokemon is. It's the reason why I don't particularly care for something like Greninja or something like Lucario, because I've used them in playthroughs a few times, and they've never really done it for me, I guess is basically the way of, of phrasing it, where, you know, they, they didn't, they don't particularly do aggressive beat stick things, despite being aggressive beat stick glass cannons, whereas, like, Charizard does do a lot of very good single target damage in a story playthrough, it's got the high enough power, and that really comes into base stats, where it actually does have the necessary base stat line to do that, my favorite for a while, just, yeah, like, I would say, that is the ideal reason to like Charizard. You like it because you grew up using it. You know, it's something you have a very long-standing history with. You like it for the right reasons. You know, it's it's basically not... Pokemon Company decided everyone is going to like this Pokemon, which... That's the beauty of the Pokemon franchise for me, is that everyone has different experiences with each individual Pokemon, and that's what makes the discussion so rich. But when they hyperfix it on specific species and they specifically selectively promote certain species over each other, that is what eventually causes people to start disagreeing aggressively. Hello there, Zane. What's your favorite Pokemon Dynamax form? Uh, you mean my favorite G Max? Ah. Uh, I really just like the way G Max Duraludon looks, even if it's not great. Um. Alola Marowak Macho, go for the Alola Marowak. Like, I, I really... Oh, go for the Rabombi, Chad. Go for the Rabombi. Yeah, I, I just really love the look of G-Max Dura. Even if it's not the great... Even if it's G-Max is actually one of the worst G-Maxes, I just think it looks great. It's just building face. 
Okay, this is actually a very good lineup. I'm just gonna switch out for the... Um, I'm just gonna switch out for the Crustle. Then we go for Sceptile. And end off fighting... Togedemaru. And then we go, we were good. Nope, uh, we do not switch out... Uh, we, we keep the Rabambi, we keep the Alolan Marowak. Uh, favorite ghost type. I think we had, I think we had, uh, this discussion about favorite ghost type yesterday, but I think it would have to come down to either Shondalur or Golurk is my favorite ghost type. Cinder yeah, that's the reason I don't really care much for Cinderace, it's kind of like, again, it, it's kind of like the force down the throat. Um, I am not gonna do anything with this. So I'm just gonna go Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go Thunder Wave. I think all I'm Kurt on bodies, exactly. I'm back! Welcome in, Jay Stress. I'm back. You know how uh comes the Sun Moons? Not really. I have never really listened to the Beatles. Forget about the most attention to main game that's got the Yeah, that's I agree with that mentality. Again, that's the reason why whenever I bond with a Pokemon in any playthrough, it's generally through usage on a team in a playthrough or a team I've used in competitive. It's... I, I bond with a Pokemon through battling with them, which is one of the reasons why I'm not as big of a fan of Legends Arceus, because it's kind of difficult to bond with a Pokemon in a game with very minimal battling. The reason I like my favorites is due to competitive play, only reason just like it is but... Yeah, that's a bit similar to me, Guffin. That's a bit, a bit similar to me. Um, just use Draining Kiss or Pollen Puff after this, Chad. Uh, no need to go for another round of Fake Tears. Yeah, I, I have a fun story involving Mesper. Hey, Mr. Bread Guy, can one of the mods go grab Zed's link, please? But yeah, funny thing about Mesprit is I had a friend. Oh, well, I have a friend. Yeah, from the Penn State Pokemon Club, who made a Mesprit build that is designed to destroy Landorus. So it baits Landorus in, you know, to, okay, Landorus comes in and uses, you know, knockoff on it, but the Mesprit, I think, outspeeds Landorus by one point, and it just one-shots with Ice Beam, and it's like, that's hilarious. But how are you doing, bread man? Hello there, Flick True. Welcome in. And if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on the stream. But how is everybody doing today? Nope, we just started about uh, 45 minutes ago, bread guy. No phases yet. Even though Latias is uh, one of the, is actually the the Dynamax adventure we have phased the most. Like we phased more on this Latias hunt. The um we phased more on this Latias hunt than we phased during Hello. Um, it depends. Lando is a Pokemon that actually can run a long list of items. Lando generally has a long list of items. But yeah, Scarf is one of them. That's kind of one of its big sets, is the, uh, the Scarf U-Turn set. But there are also, like, semi-defensive. There's set-up ones with Swords Dance. There's ones with Leftovers, Toxic. No, yeah, he does have some very good Legendaries, I agree. Yeah, Kayla, can you go grab, um, can you go grab Zed's Link, please? Now we go for the Sceptile. Yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of different builds for Lando. <laughs> Cause this was back in Gen 8 that they had that build for Lando, and that was when Landorus still had access to Toxic. So there were Lando that would actually run non-scarf U-turn. Which, I mean, to this day it still does run Scarf U-turn, but because it, it lost knockoff. I know we haven't battled in Scarlet and Violet yet, but we need to. I can't remember. Ah, uh, I Um, I may remember a bit. 
but that'd be fun. I mean, we do. There is a, uh, a draft league I am a part of. We're always happy to have new people in. It'd be fun if you joined that draft league. Thank you very much, Kayla, for grabbing Zed's link. Thank you very much. I want to make sure I'm not wrong. Shiny Latias is yellow. Uh, yes. Shiny Latias is like yellow gold. Shiny Latios is like teal green. Yes. Sounds fun. Ah, sounds nice, Gunther. He's a physical ruby. So, fun fact about rubies and sapphires. As someone who studies earth science, the the difference between a ruby and a sapphire is literally a fraction of a percent of their weight in impurities. So yes, a ruby and a sapphire are basically the same thing. It's just, uh, chemically they're identical. It's just that there's a little bit of impurities that's like 0.1% of their weight that gives them the different colors. I literally almost wrote my senior thesis on, on rubies. Yes, I like rocks. I, I am a rock nerd. I mean, not really. I mean, that's that's mineralogy. Which is, the, 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 that's a, um, sort of a geology joke I like to bring up, is that it's ironic that the Pokemon games named for literally the exact same mineral are the two games that are the most different base games. No, it's... There's very, very, very minimal differences between them. Because, again, chemically the same thing, Corundum. It's just... One, I believe, has a little bit more... I think it's titanium. And one has a little bit more iron impurities. And that's what gives them the color. Dilelewop. Nope, it's, it's simply visual. Again, geology is fascinating. Uh, we do not switch out. I mean, again, we let the NPC bot switch out. No, oh, okay. I mean, I, I would have liked to encounter that, but it's fine. Only well, knew that because of Steven Universe. Yeah, I mean, everyone in there is named after minerals. Mostly, a few things are not minerals, but yeah. The fires contain a mix of corundum. Well, no, corundum is what the mineral is. Oh, chromium, not corundum. Sorry, I misread that. Yes. Yeah, it, it's basically the ratio of the different uh, metals in the impurities is basically giving them a different color. Because, like, there are red sapphires. You know, sapphires are not purely blue. They have a whole range of colors. Again, that goes into the individual trace elements that gives them their coloration. Again, geology is fascinating. Yes. No, no. Em emeralds... Yeah, emeralds are a different thing altogether. Emeralds are barrel. Yeah. Uh, rubies and sapphires are corundum. Emeralds are barrel. Very, very different. Senior... I haven't seen your battle links in Wycom. Weird. Right now, I just finished watching uh, the Reader Edition Skull of Manga, Chapter 3. Nice. Nice. Yeah, emeralds are a completely different family. Body press. Again, the ge geology is... I freaking love the thing. I like working with stones. I mean, if you explored the key to the goldsmith... That sounds fun. That sounds very fun. Again, if, if you screw around, it's just screwing around. But if you have a clipboard, then it's science. Your token tomorrow is very surprisingly good. Why is it bajillion types of quartz? Well, quartz is the mineral. It's just based on impurities. It's what gives quartz different colorations. Yeah. Is blue yellow topaz? I mean, it depends on what color you like. I mean, I like yellow topaz, but blue also does look pretty good. Again, there's really no difference between the two of them. It's just, again, aesthetics. Don't mind me, just filling my custom pay pack man me as we the be. Yeah, sounds fun, chicken man. Sounds fun. 
main character is a violet as a Miraidon. We never get an explanation. Now we got it. Well, I mean, I'm presuming it's the same origin as how you have one in your game. Also, the prince from a different region. Okay, that's different. That's weird. Yeah, let's just screw around and find out. Okay, well, actually, did an intro. Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on the stream. I actually don't know that about Topaz. Again, I I studied specifically um, geology and geoscience. I took a class on mineralogy and almost wrote my thesis on rubies, but I didn't write it on rubies because I didn't end up having to write a senior thesis for reasons. In school, they choose the Manga Izuva Academy, so Violet won. Purple. The future. He's the future. Okay, so that's a little awkward. That is a little bit awkward. Uh, just go for Pollen Puff. Just, just go for Pollen Puff against the uh, the Ladia. Uh, the, the Ladia. Actually, yeah, just go for like Pollen Puff. It's copy. Yeah, copy typing. Thankfully, it copied my typing, so. I can absolutely destroy this thing with max rockfall. I think that combination with the lightning rod ability, the combination used Toga Tomorrow not too long ago. I enjoy Toga Tomorrow. It is my favorite of the Pikachu clones if we exclude Mimikyu and um well, I like I like Toga Tomorrow more than I like Azumarill, because again it's just fun. Like Lightning Rod, Zing Zap, or even just Sturdy. Like it's it's flinch hacks. I love it. I freaking love this thing. But yes, Latias copy is typing. Reflect type is annoying. Reflect type is highly infuriating. But, behold, giant enemy crab. I guess giant friendly crab in this case, because it's our friend. Balin buff. Iron head bonk. Let's see how much this does. I would, I would love to know. Wait, why did? Why am, am I still slower than a Marowak? I'm at plus two speed. I actually miss being a cold, but it was fun. Yeah, it sounds very fun. Well, now they're Bombi. Okay, well now you just hit Rabombi with like freaking. Uh, hit it with like freaking. Flare, but it's gone. Oh, okay, no, I do, I do outspeed it, okay. Don't worry, he lost and deleted. The true vegetable is better, is fun. Yeah, Latias just screw around and finds out. This is what happens when you screw around, Latias. You find out, and we don't take kindly to that stuff here. Little draining gift. Yeah, the fact that Rabombi still outspeeds me at plus two does not surprise me. But Togedemaru outspeeding me at plus two, possibly a little surprising. Could come down to overall natures on that. Still going to school, then. No, I graduated two years ago. Um, I sort of changed majors last two semesters, and I don't need, I didn't need to write the senior thesis. You should trade in my camp, a level I wanted to like to only know self-destruct. Well, I mean, you can relearn moves. You, you can, you, Electrode can relearn moves. It's not like it, it can't learn anything other than self-destruct, self-detonate. All right, we'll take this up to 240. Let's check our non-existent shinies. No shiny, no shiny, no shiny Togedemaru, no shiny Latias. We cannot manifest the shiny. We cannot manifest the shiny. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't exist. She does not exist. Yeah, I remember a while back if I started a new... You started a new job while I was streaming last time. Yeah. Well, I, was, I was looking for a, a job. Um, I definitely... Thank you very much for ever subscribed. Thank you. Keep a record of the line, yes. Again, if anybody wants to pop in, feel free to join in. Link code is 19283746. The only rule of Dynamax Adventures is, well, there's technically two of them, 
But the only rule is listen to the instructions I give for the DAs. And then the second one is if we have a full lobby in the previous DA, uh, wait a minute and 30 seconds if you were in the previous Dynamax Adventure to let anyone who would want to join have a chance of joining. Shiny Furt is a cotton candy floof noodle. It is a very cotton candy floof noodle. But yeah, no, I mean, the general's been doing very well. The general's been doing very, very, very good. Alright. He lost and he retreated. I guess he must be a goldsmith. Yeah, that's, being a goldsmith sounds fun. But yeah, I've been getting to working on a lot more videos now, like long form videos. Blah for me. I mean, it is, it is a cotton candy floof noodle. Well, not cotton candy. Uh, candy cane floof noodle, not cotton candy. Because it's, it's got the spiral of a candy cane. Again, your friendly reminder that Ferramosa and Furt are the exact same height, 5 foot 11. Yes, Furt is 6 feet long. Yes. I, again, it's info like that I freaking love Pokemon. Yeah, not cotton candy. I meant candy cane. I occasionally mix up cotton candy and candy canes. Well, the last time I had, I think the last time I had cotton candy was literally years ago. Yeah, no, Jump Bluff is cotton candy, because, like, it's pink. It's pink, pink, very pink. Very, very pink. Yeah, and I hope by the end of the month I actually do have Shining Groudon, because I would love Shining Groudon for my VGC plan. I will not accept the fur is taller than me. A lot of Pokemon are relatively either insanely short. Yeah. A lot of Pokemon are either insanely tall or insanely short than you expect. Remember, Groudon is only like, is, is, is not even 12 feet tall. It's like 11 and a half feet. It's tiny. The Fluff Nautil Ferret is gigantic. I love it. I freaking love this thing. Let's see, Kason. Okay, Kason has not responded yet. It's gonna be great. So let's let's have a look at Kason's lineup against mine. Yeah. So so actually, topic time. What is everybody's thoughts on the Galarian fossil Pokemon? What is what is everybody's thoughts on them? Because I'm I'm not particularly a fan of them. Yeah, look, Cario's 311. Short. Um, as a Flygon's pretty good here. Go for the Flygon. I honestly I don't know. Uh, which one of the best one was one of the last one is for this? I mean, you can go either Sceptile or you can go Swampert. Uh, either of them are actually pretty good here. No, he actually got Swampert anyway. Yeah, Flygon. Uh, well, Flygon. Latios is probably. Oh, a Selgor. Oh yes, please a Selgor. Okay. In that case. Ooh. Okay, this is good. So, we go with Selgor, Dusclops, and then we go for the Crawdont. So, we're gonna switch out Swampert for a Selgor. More type coverage, we'll go for Swampert. The thing is, Swampert's reliant... Well, again, we know we're going for Latias. So... The question really comes down to reliability of Blizzard against Latias. As well as, again, if it turns typing into Swampert, then we don't have much for it. Um, I'm just going to Dynamax and use Max Flutterby against this thing. Hello there, Vegoj, how are you doing? But yeah, no. Um, I would recommend switching out the Swampert for this... And then 
we switch out Flygon for the Crawdont. Reason being, Crawdont is one of the single best and just most aggressive Pokemon. What I think is a Selgore. Oh no, a Selgore is just pure bug. A Selgore is a pure bug type. I would have the blessing of your DNA hit when we it on the level. Yeah, I, I recommend specifically this one. I'm going absolutely awful. Oh, I just bumped my elbow. Yikes, that is not fun to hit that part of it. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, Selgor is also one of the only Pokemon that is faster than Latias when it comes to Dynamax Adventures. This thing is stupid fast. You know, just just you is just you is uh, Dragon Claw. Uh, just use Dragon Claw on a Selgor. Just you is Dragon Claw. Actually, let me go check something. Because depending on things, we may actually want to keep Flygon over Drapion. We may, we may, yeah, I think we may want to keep Flygon over Drapion now that I think about it. Because if I recall, Drapion does not have a very high attack stat compared to Flygon. Drapion... Beyond, I think it's like 95 physical attack. I, I mean, again, I could go for another one of you. Um, yes. Okay, we switch. Um, we we hold on to Flygon. We keep the Flygon. We keep the Flygon. I will switch Drapion out for Crawdont. Switch out the Swampert for a Selgor. Um, just use Acid Spray against the Dusclops. Use Acid Spray. Like 10 minutes I've been trying to figure out what's next to my username, like Pokemon Chicken or something, it's too small. Fair enough. Um, that is an Allosaurus that is next to your name, Fleck. That is an Allosaurus. Do you know how people say Gardevoir is on? I, I personally don't really care much for Gardevoir. Thank you very much, Pokemon Go guy. Thank you. Yeah, Draft League is looking good for this season. You just, just focus on using Acid Spray. Um, with the Selgor, Flygun, can Dynamax or not. That's all good, Pokemon Go guy. Never need to apologize for being late. Never need to apologize. You arrive precisely when you need to. But yeah, the uh, the that, the match that we, we talked about towards the end of uh, that draft video with the gouging fire, that's actually going to be going up this week. Oh, they're only Ghosty 66. We are playing Pokemon Sword right now. Uh, we do Dynamax Adventures in Sword and Shield every day. But how are you doing? Yeah, I don't dislike Jinx. Thank you very much for having subscribed. Break it swipe. I guess, that, I guess that does make sense that they would use Breaking Swipe as their other... Well, they're going to have Grass Pledge. So it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the reason why we are doing this... Uh, go for Max Quake on the Flygon. Go for Max Quake. Oh, grabbed it. That actually, that's actually pretty good. That means uh, all of our moves... Well, they ain't all of those hit perfectly accurate now. Which doesn't really matter. Well, they can Leaf Storm always hits then. Is that anything? Is it a lot? What is that? Yeah, I'm... I, I was never the biggest fan of, like, uh, the, hum the overly humanish Pokemon. Spider-Man's harshly fell. Yeah, that's why we love Acid Spray. That is why we love Acid Spray. That move is really good. 
Because they just absolutely destroy special defense. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dust Clubs. Goodbye. Now I can go for the shiny check. We do not switch out for this. We do not switch out for this. I released it after I clicked on Shion with special attack. Uh, what Pokemon? Uh, what Pokemon? Oh, yeah. You know, it's fine. Like, it realistically wouldn't have mattered all that much, because, uh, Max Quake from Mudslap is a much weaker move. So it overall may have been better to go with, uh, the Dragon Claw initially. I can't even say this. Put on a Magic Carpet, the one over 10,000 encounters. Wow! What game have you been hunting the Magic Carp in? Go for the NPC AI bot. That is a lot of encounters. That is a lot of encounters. Pokemon are limited just animals. Times I get better those games. Definitely yes. That's one of the reasons why, like, I don't, I, I don't agree with the when people say that Pal World ripped off Pokemon. Is like, it, there's only so many different ways you can design, like, you know, a bunny or a jackal or like a dragon or a snake. There's only so many different ways you can make it look. It's like fundamentally, it comes in the same base. It's only Johnny last many? How long has it been going for? It's only been going on for like a little over a month. Oh, Wigglytuff, not bad. Actually, the Wigglytuff is a lot better if they picked that up. Wow, that's... That's over 25 times odd. That's something. Wait, why, why, why did they, they switch out the, wait, why did, why did they switch out the Aselgar? I want, I wanted to keep the Aselgar. Still doing some, yes, yes, Fire Mode is doing the shortest format better. Uh, the reason why is it helps get the channel growth. Okay, it's all good, Wilkins. Um... You know, we, we can still we can still work with that. We can still work with that. Um, in that case, all right, we can still work with this. Um, okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, just go for Shadow Sneak. Just go for Shadow Sneak. I'm the one. JSR, please chill with the caps. Yeah, I mean, again, we can still beat Latias without Acid Spray. If it was someone like Kyogre, then we'd be in trouble, but it's it's just Latias. By the way, I got new Nintendo Switch Lite, since I feel the hand more regular. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's it's fine. We don't We don't need Acid Spray. Because the Acid Spray was primarily just for a Selgor to do more damage with its own Bug Buzz. So it, it's not like it was too bad. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Phase Curse us his channel. That was one who switched it a glitch. Of course, now nice. Power may not be having Pokemon most of the times to be a lack of compared to many of the monsters. Well, you gotta remember, this is the first time they've ever done a thing like that. A lot of the reason why a lot of the other monster collecting games designs feel a lot better is they are classic at this point. You know, it's it's we're more used to them because we've in, we've known them longer. It's a bit of an unfair comparison. It's ki kind of for the same reason that like people say Pokemon from the newer games don't look or feel like Pokemon. It's just they're not designs people are used to. You wait a few gens, like wait like a year or so, and like oh yeah, those designs are amazing. 
which is exactly what we see gen the like, game in game out. Keep forgetting. Do you recall playing any previous games this far? Oh yeah, Firemar. I still go back and pl replay the older games. Like the reason why we're doing the shiny Latias hunt in Sword and Shield is it's the only way to shiny hunt for it that isn't uh, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon that has the shiny charm in it. It's simple practicality, but I even then I still do replay the older games because I do like playing the story. Use gravity to get a lefty. Um, not really. I I'm reserving judgments about. Uh, Pokemon ZA JSR because we just simply don't know enough about the game yet. We we simply don't know enough about the game. By the way, I heard Paul Dea uses Terra something. He received a crystal form and some sort of stab exactly. By the way, I heard Paul Dea. Yes, that's terastalization. Yeah, uh, Jade. Oh, Jade's just probably resting or at school. Jade's just resting. But yeah, no, it's it's fine. At this point, I feel like we just uh, we, we just go for the throat. Prepare yourself in confusion, please. Dang it! Target me, please. Target me. Target me. Oh, that does nothing. That, that wiggly tough shrugs that off like nothing. Giant. Technically, it's not a crab. It's not even a lobster. It's a crayfish. Crawdont is a crayfish, not a crab. Back soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pokemon Go God. That does mean the world that you guys watch that stuff. So if I am the reason. No, it's all good, JSR. It's all good. Post to Jeff's this time first. That's good. Hello there, Alex. How's video premiere? Thank you very much for the raid again, Alex. Can one of the mods go grab Alex? Tommy! How is Mr. Dragon Dance 05? Tommy! Captain Alex, how are you doing? Hello there, King Hypersonic64. Welcome in, everybody. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Thank you very much, Tommy, for grabbing the link. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more, leave a like on the stream, and let us know how you're doing today. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you. How you doing, Tommy? How do you do? 241 Latias Dynamax Adventure Checks, over double odds, approaching double and a half, and she still isn't shining for us. Hey, Meta, do you ever think that new... Meta, do you ever think that a few of the losses may have been shinies? Oh, that's how it always is. It's, you would have gotten the shiny on the encounter, you got it. But you'll never know. Like, again, shininess is only rolled when you check the Pokemon at the end of the Dynamax adventure. So... We jokingly say any of the losses, those would have been the shinies, but it never would have rolled it to have been a shiny or not if we never caught it. Fortnite Pro, Tommy, up close, a microphone moment to my soul. Really, Tommy? Well, remember, there is going to be the ASMR Pokedex readings, where we read out every Pokedex entry throughout the series with ASMR Max's voice. Let's go again! And if anybody wants to pop in for some Dynamax adventures, feel free to join. Uh, what was the video premiere today, Mr. Alex Sus? If you don't mind my asking. Nope, wrong button. Wrong button, I forgot to type in the code. I forget to type in the code. Bloody else. There we go. I'm hopping soon. Sounds good. Mario Super Circuit. Sounds fun. Delightful. No, 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 no. The knife down Fisk. Okay, since we have some new people popping into the Dynamax adventure, if you were in the last one, please wait 
a minute and a half before joining in. So when the timer is a minute and a half remaining, people who were in the previous one, you guys can come back in. We want to let everyone who is new and wanting to join have a chance to enter. Let's see, Kason get back to me yet or no? Okay, no, nope, nothing out of Kason. He's probably busy. Yeah, Kason's probably busy. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to my matchup against Kason. Again, Iron Thorns versus Tyranitar. It's going to be great. Kason's also the one that stole my Swampert, right? Or is that someone else? He was not. Was he the Swampert thief? No, Kason was not the Swampert thief. Okay. The Swampert thief is a different person. Who was the Swampert thief that I will exact revenge on? Um, for God's I'm in a Pokemon Draft League. And I love Swampert in Draft League. It's really, really good. A lot of versatility, a lot of usage for a comparatively low cost pack. Dippity new reuniclez. Ah! It's my week three matchup is the one that has the Swampert. All right. Uh, if you guys want to pop in, you in the previous one, feel free to join. I plan to live stream Soul Link Nuzlocke. Um, I have a plan to be doing a, a Soul Link with our friend Timmy B. We're still kind of working out the ideas on that. Hey, Raymond, how you doing? How many raids today? So far, we have done four raids. So far, this is our fifth raid. Bye, bye, Tommy. Bye, bye. Oh, bye-bye, uh, Alex. Sorry about that. I misread everything. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Alright, let's go. Yeah, when do I fight... When do I fight DJS? When do I fight the freaking Tentacruel Pirates? Okay. Ooh, 1-4-0. That's terrifying. Okay, King Sosa next then. Alright. Yeah, I'm fighting a Praetor last week. Okay, that's that's okay. Rose. Oh, boy, I'm fighting DJS week five. That's scary. It's halfway through the season. That's a bit. We are is a and Dragon Dead playing spot. Nearly one million viewers across the channel. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, we've had the channel for closing in on, what, six years at this point? Thank you very much, whoever subscribed. How many phases on last? Oh, this is, uh, we've been, like, 17 phases on Latias. Yeah. Latias is the legendary we have phased the most on. Uh, Marshtomp. Actually, Vaporeon as well is a good pick. But we need the Marshtomp and the Vaporeon for Weather Ball. Of course the Lifeguard shows up. Of course that's when the Lifeguard shows up. It was I... Pokemon fan number one. Hello there, pleasure to meet you. All right, we need to get looking for something to pick up in place of things. Okay. Ooh, Absol, I like the Absol. Actually, actually, let's go Drudigan, we go Drudigan, we go Obstagoon, and then we go for the Absol. That's the pathing. That's the correct pathing. We go. Um, that's that's the ideal pathing for this one. Okay. Um. No, seventeen phases. Seventeen. Um. Okay. So we. I think in that case we keep the we keep the marsh stomp in that case because thinking about it um we will have physical screech on obstagoon so we want ice punch rather than that so yeah so we switch out 
Vaporeon for Absol. I will switch Jigglypuff out for Obstagoon. Uh, no, this is our fourth raid today. We've done 241 checks of Latias. Yeah, we've done 241 checks of Latias. Ooh, good work, confusing. Good work. Uh, just go for Weather Ball. Uh, just go for Weather Ball on the Vaporeon. Uh, Dynamax next turn. Marsh Stomp, just Dynamax next turn. That's fine. That's fine. I haven't used Fake Tears yet. That's fine. Yeah, no, we, that's the cumulative tracker for how many we've done all yet. No, doing 221 Dynamax Adventures in a single day is... Maybe not quite impossible, but very, very difficult. It's possible to do over a hundred in a single day, but that is solo animations off. And I know, because I've done that before. And only very specific Dynamax Adventure bosses can you actually do that against. Uh, video on that kind of coming at some point in the future. See, that, that's the reason why we go Fake Tears. Because, yeah, no, Weather Ball does a little bit more damage. So, normal attack over special. Um, what do you mean normal attack over special? Because it, it, Vaporeon's only other move is Water Pulse, which is resisted. So, it's better just to go with the neutral Weather Ball. That's perfectly fine. You do no damage. You do no damage to us. Thank you very much, Omar. Thank you very much, Omar, for grabbing Tommy's link. Draining kiss. And next turn, we should actually finish taking this thing down. I would love a shiny Drodagon, but we don't need it. We do not need it. That's what I mean. Uh, Max Kingman, right? With my train. No, you cannot interact with other trainers inside of Max Layer. Max Layer is considered a building. You can only interact with other trainers in the greater overworld wild areas. I appreciate Godzilla just chilling back there. Yep. Godzilla just chilling. Yeah, um, whenever we had the shiny Duraludon hunts, I would actually replace that uh, Godzilla with a Mecha Godzilla figure I have. Kind of stopped doing that after a while, though. Yeah, we don't switch out the, uh, we don't switch out here. We, hopefully the bot takes this. Nope, they don't, okay. But yeah, we hold on to the Vaporeon. Let's go for the Obstagoon. Hello there, Ephraim Nelson, how you doing? We're doing very well today. We're doing very, very well today. Um... Marsh Stomp, just use Water Pledge. Just use Water Pledge. Against Obstagoon. Uh, it would be best if Orion Dynamaxes and goes for Water Pulse. Uh, following the, the turn after. So, once Rain is set up, I watch your Go Disc Theory video. Thank you very much, Pokemon Go Guy. Go fake tears. Yeah, Dynamax the Porion, go for Water Pulse. After this, use Max Strike. The reason for that is Max, because it's Weather Ball, Max Strike is functionally a water type move, so it'll be a more powerful Max Geyser than just um, Weather Ball. Yeah, it, it's weird how, how it works, but Terrain Pulse. Weather Ball both work the same way. A couple days ago, I started doing a Mizuda method for party and starters, and guess what shine first? Um, I'm gonna guess... Wait, Coco? I have no idea how long we're gonna stream today, JSR. No clue.
Uh, I kind of figured that out as we go. Who's on site? The last stream video. Thank you very much, Pokemon Go guy. Thank you. Again, we do these streams to make your guys' day better. You make new friends, meet new people, and just overall have a good time. Yes, do Water Pledge, because Water Pledge is more powerful. Also, now Hurricane is perfectly accurate from, uh... Talonflame. Do Water Pledge. Yeah, it's perfectly accurate, so it actually, uh, it's pretty good. Thunderbolt, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Max Geyser. He was indeed Fwick Coco! 151! I do love Fwick Coco. Fwick Coco is one of my favorite starters. When I saw Fwick Coco in the trailer for Scarlet Violet, I, I was just, this is my starter. I, I do not care what the other starters turn into. Fwick Coco is my Paul Day in starter, and it did not disappoint the Skellinders. No, Vaporeon cannot learn Water Pledge. Water Pledge is a move that is exclusive to the starters. Sylvalli and Type Null, I believe, learns exclusively Grass Pledge. Oh, we can't go for Absol. All right. Uh, in that case, then we go for the Bear Tick. Okay. Um. Okay, I thought the Bear Tick and the other one were switched. Okay, that's that's okay. Um. All right. In that case. In that case. In that case, switch out the Vaporeon for... Switch out Vaporeon for Bear Tech. Also, that's what I got okay, good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and all of the starters in, um, in Paul Day are very good for a story play it through. Where's the choppers? Uh, I think I mentioned this a couple of times, but there's like, um, like a U.S. Army base within like, you know, hundred so miles or so where, where I live. And occasionally we get like the Apache attack helicopters flying around. You know, no, no, nothing quite says safety. Like, what, 20 tons of freedom flying overhead? Yeah. yeah, they generally fly relatively low, so you can actually see the little wing things. Like, there was... No, go on. Why not? Like, there was one time they were flying so low, they were like maybe... 200 or so feet off the ground and there's this metal bowl we have on the island in the kitchen that if you like you walk by it like too quickly or like too forcefully on the ground it like rattles back and forth and starts basically ringing and it, again it rings like a bell and there was one time I was just sitting on the couch watching the dog and then I just hear this this ringing from the bell I was like what the hell is that and then just I heard that the helicopter go, and it was like, oh, that's where it is. And I went outside, and the thing was, like, really close. You know, they generally fly, like, what, you know, six, seven hundred feet off the ground or something? And this one was, like, you know, probably about 200 off the ground, so it was close. And I was like, that's, that's something. What the fuck? That's funny. Hitmontop is very annoying. Um, of the Hitmon family, it is probably the most annoying, but of all evolutions... No, there's many more more annoying than Hitmontop. Love all the members of the Spiggy Teacher Squad. Super close. Love the members. Spiggy Teacher Squad. Spiggy Love Line. Nice. Silver Ledge. It's a big and quick cocoa. 
Yeah. I love it. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? So who has the Dynamax? Um, um, Arden, I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, we have a Discord where if you want to do Union Circles, you can join the, the Discord and there's a Union Circle chat in the Discord. Actually, there's the Discord right there. Uh, feel free to join and put the Union Circle code there. Um, do not Dynamax. Do not Dynamax. Because I, I want to try and get the Dynamax over to me so I can use uh, Dynamax Lash Out. Because that'll do the most damage. Okay, that's good. It's, okay, it's Barricade. That's ooh, ooh, confusion. Wow, you're you're doing you're you're doing well, Talonflame. You're do, you're doing good, Talonflame. That's um, it's not great, not bad. If you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like on the stream. Rawr. Favorite new starter is Bigito Flexi Flexible. I love them. They're great. So did, did we did we connect with Screech? Yes, Screech did connect. Okay, good. I always have to make sure whether or not Screech connected because like it's it's a fifteen percent chance of missing, but just like you you never know. You never you, you always got to make sure. Oh wow, full health! So it actually gets priority now. All right. No, oh, actually, Steel Wing does more damage, right? Because of the defense drop. Hurt yourself confusion, please. Please. Nope. Please don't target me. Well, there's no chance in hack that Talonflame was surviving that. That's not good. Maybe, well, maybe Zen Headbutt. Actually, maybe even Surf it would have survived. But Max Geyser, no. That's why we like the lash out. Frost breath. Yeah, frost breath is the better move because the better accuracy. But it's all good, Nesslin. Have a good day. It's all good. No need to feel bad. Go from fainting, and now we just go for the ice punch. Now we have Dynamax on me. I is your is Beardix ability slush rush or is it swift? I always forget because I'm pretty sure it gets both of them. I'm, I w watch it be here, it actually does have Swift Swim. Watch it actually have that. Of course, because if it does, that would be just funny. It makes sense. But it would be just be funny. Rawr. Rawr. Hurt yourself in confusion, please. Reflect type. Okay, that's a little awkward. Okay, in that case, just go for Body Press and Waterfall, then. Just go for Body Press and Waterfall, then, because Latias is being a bit of a shoe. Of course you do that. Of course you use Reflect. I Hello there, Lucas Games. How are you doing? Hope you're going well. O hope you're doing well, not going well. I punch. You can't freeze Latias like that. You cannot freeze an ice type. Hi Ash, how you doing, Floorhead? Is it stronger to go with this one or? Oh no, Dark Darkness is right because it's 75 base power, not 70. Hello, Floorhead. How is the short one? How is the short one? All right, and there we go, 242. Latias shiny checks. Will Latias be a shiny today? We don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't.
Oh, no shiny Drudagon, sadly. No shiny Obstagoon. No shiny Bertic. No shiny Latias. It does not exist. Well, well, we'll get it eventually. We will get it eventually. Alright, let's go back. Welcome. Keep the record of Latias DA. Thank you very much, whoever subscribed. Let's go again. I will not Latias. I will not Ash, because Latias refuses to sparkle. I will not. Valanias. Alright. Alright, link code. Again, if you want to join, feel free to pop in. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six. I am back to haunt you. Hello there, BB Place. How do you do? Welcome back. It is delightful to see you. It is delightful. No, oh, stop, I don't want to. Meta ASMR after almost getting Thunder ASMR. I'm emotionally scared. Wait, 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 wait. There was Thunder ASMR? Wilkins, you, you have to know. Oh, nice. Another 24 hour stream coming soon. Sounds fun, Ash. I look forward to that. Ah, uh, how, how, how did that almost happen? I must know about this. I must know. We're doing the battle. You don't go into YComs, Cohen. You need to go to Max Layer. You go to Max Layer. Well, first you need to be connected to the internet. So you go to Max Layer. You talk to the lady up front. You select anything is fine. Then you type in the link code 19283746 by pressing the plus button on the controller, and then you select invite others, and then you'll be able to join. Yeah, the reason why you have to go into Max Layer, you can't go into YComs, is it if it was in YComs, people who don't have the DLC would be able to join them. Which is the reason why it's the way it is. No, it's not stupid, Con. It's very confusing, because it's the only thing in the game that's like this. Yeah, um, Ogre Ousting in Scarlet Violet with Kitakami is actually very much the same. Here we restart if he can't get in. Um, I mean, I'm already readied up, so I can't actually back out. People in the stream didn't want, so Thunder did it anyway, but someone threw water. Ah... Uh, can you grab me the clip of that? Because that would be funny to send it uh, send it to me in a DM. Because I'm in Thunder's Discord. So you can just, like, just send me a DM of that. That would be fun. Game Freak's old guard is still in full force during this time. No, it made sense why they did it. Because this is something that is exclusive to the DLC. Which, this is a feature they wanted to keep exclusive to the DLC, people who have the DLC. You can join Dynamax Raid, like regular Dynamax Raid dens, um, even if you don't have the DLC. But if you don't have the DLC, you can't join Dynamax Adventures. Again, it made sense why. Again, Scarlet Violet's uh, uh, Ogre Ousting is the same way, and it does make sense why they did it that way. Even if we as players don't like it. Ah, oh god. Um, none of these are good. None of these are good, Craydil. Oh, none of these are good. None of these are at all good. I guess none of them are good. All right. Um, we need to get we need to get a really good pathing. We need to get a very good pathing. Pick your poison. Yeah, it is very much a pick your poison. The Blossom is like the least bad because at least it has a fairy move. But like again, that's not saying much. Okay. Um, I I do see a Starmy, so I do like that. I do like the Starmy option.
Okay. Um... I guess we go Barbarical Starmie. I, I guess we go Barbarical Starmie. Um, I do not know what it has. I, I do not know what name your trainer has. Yeah, again, this, this, this pathing was not great. Um, I wish I had acid spray on this thing. Yeah, I, I, I guess the best we do is we switch out Beware for Barbarical and we switch out Octillery not Octillery, we switch out Cradily for Starmie Change player Welcome back I mean, I know people who just name their character in-game a Just all A's not so good. Yeah, yeah, we, we try from there. Not great, but it's the best we got. We both still do be hurting. That's not good. That is not good. Target said, please target me. Please target me with Skull Bash. Of course, they're targeting that. Uh, next turn, just use Giga Drain on the Blossom. Just use Giga Drain. Fun, fun damage. Do like that damage right there. It has been going okay, BB. It has been going pretty okay. Hey, for once, the NPC using that actually is probably pretty decent of a move. It's a fairly decent pick on that move. But yeah, just just go. Actually, no, they're gonna use Horn Leech next turn, so that's actually fine. Baby dot eyes. But yeah, switch out Beware for Barbarical. Switch out Beware for Barbarical. Oh wow, I actually... I undersped... Trev? Did not think I'd underspeed a Trevenant. Alright. Alright, that's good. That's at least good. I think Cradilly looks like something. I like Shiny Cray. I like Cradilly. We need shiny Cradilly. I mean, we need all the, the shiny Pokemon. The Basel ones are just pretty difficult to get normally. Because of the limited availability of them. Well, I'm mainly just the, the, the more difficult of acquisition. Alright, there we go. I'm um, joining five minutes of new race starts. Um, just, you, don't Dynamax. Just, a actually. Actually, no, do Dynamax. Uh, do Dynamax the Barbarical and just use Poison Jab. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's red. I do know what it looks like. You Dynamax and use, just use Poison Jab. That'll increase the special attack of Blossom and I and Blossom. Just use Giga Drain. Uh, don't go, f don't use Helping Hand. Just go for Giga Drain. I'm gonna switch out for the Starmie. I'm gonna switch out Cray Dilly for Starmie. Yeah, because Cray Dilly does not do good. Starmie does not. I'm not Starmie. Cray Dilly does not do good. Uh, Dynamax the Barbarical. Just think, just uh, Dynamax the Barbarical and use Poison Jab. Connection times always throw me off in this game. They always throw me off. Um, I need to go get some more water. It is important to hydrate or dehydrate. Drink water if only to outlive your enemies. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you guys haven't done so already.
and leave a like on the stream. Thank you guys. I'm back in a sec. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I would not mind a shiny Starmie. I would love a shiny Starmie. As a, you know, there's a lot of shinies I would love to have uh, getting phases during this. Because again, that's the fun part about Dynamax Adventures. Even if it is not the most effective method, efficient method of shiny hunting, you get a lot of shinies of other stuff. Is one thing Pokemon needs Gen 10 is official way to get back your save data? Um, I mean, what do you mean by get back your save data? Hello there, Draco. Welcome in. Thank you very much for popping in. Um, what, what do you mean by get your save data back? Um... Let's go for Dubwool. I don't want the NPC taking the Nita King. I do not want the NPC bot taking that Nito King. Okay, bye bye, Cohen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure what you mean by get your save data back. You mean like multiple save profiles on a single switch profile so, like, that's kind of the point of, like the multiple profiles on the switch is so you can have multiple files of the game without needing to restart so i'm not not really sure i track um yeah dazzling gleam as it stands now if something happens you just go to luck. the way that you do that is you have to migrate the switch data over they use pokemon home to back up save data that goes into the way Pokemon games save their information. You gotta remember, Pokemon is just the publisher for the... Uh, Nintendo is just the publisher. They don't have the games interact with the save cloud data the same way. That's why you need to migrate over your save data manually when you get a new Switch. That's something that goes more into the individual game. That, and that's the end of the individual, like, company things. Again, that's for complicated reasons. But yeah, I mean, that's... That, that is a bit of an issue with the saving. That's why I said Pokemon Home cause game for April. How's that? Um, well, again, it, it would be kind of difficult to back up everything in Home, because Home wasn't made by Game Freak. That was made by Ilka. Yeah, again, that, that, that goes into, like, legalese business territory, which is, again, another sort of separate matter altogether. And Double is doing literally nothing. Okay, that's good. That's actually very good. Um, 
Just let the Dynamax roll around. Just don't, don't Dynamax. I think at this point, actually, Psycho Cut is the better move because of how low this thing's defense is now. Also, I have Stab on it. So, yeah, it's better to go for Psycho Cut. But, yeah, no, that's, that's kind of a bit of a different problem altogether. That, again, that's that's kind of a bigger, more complex issue. I do love that snowball damage. Yes! The Pokemon save data is different animal from regular save data. It's probably both, Firemar. That's the reason why they're never going to re release the Pokemon games on the virtual console with, like, the Nintendo Switch Online bundle. And that if they do re-release Pokemon games on the Switch, like old school Pokemon games, it'll be a separate app. It's specifically for a combination of both of them with the hacking and cloning. You know, it, it's it, it's kind of both of them. Because that's, that's something that Game Freak adamantly is, is trying to curb and stop is the hacking and cloning of Pokemon. Which would be way too easy to do with a virtual console. So again, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's again, it's complicated things, but yeah. Oh yeah, Incineroar's on our team. Uh, nobody takes the dub wool. All right, so we let the Dynamax roll back to Starmie. Um, Barbarical, use Poison Jab until Starmie Dynamaxes. Yeah, probably quite salty from the action replay days. No, not really, Farmer. They've always been against hacking. Ga Game Freak has always been against hacking. Like, in in Japan, game modification is outright illegal. So, it's not really salty from that. It is... B basically, things like Action Replay, Game Shark, and stuff like that is... Like... In their eyes, it is like a desecration of like the thing itself. It it's kind of a whole other separate problem. You know, it's 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 a whole other beast. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh new plan. New 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 plan. Um Blossom just spam Giga Drain. That's supposed to be the franchise is going. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, that's just more Japanese laws in general. That's more of laws in Japan as it is. That, again, they're very... Legally, they're against game modification and cloning and hacking. But also, just on principle, they're against it. Like, it's, it's a bit of both. Again, it's, it's complicated. Technically, it's the second highest grossing media franchise. It's Mario is, is more because, well, gaming-wise. But, yeah, Pokemon overall is... I'd say overall Pokemon's bigger. I'd say overall Pokemon is bigger. And if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Keep it great. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Bye bye, Pokemon Go guy. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for that. Um, just use uh Barbarical. Just use Razor Shell from now on. Just just keep looking Razor Shell. Um, no, nah, we just we just have the Dynamax roll roll around to Blossom. Um, JSR, do you have Nintendo Switch Online, and do you have the DLC? 
for Crown Tundra Isle of Armor. Because you need both of those to join. Okay. Um, go to max layer in the Crown Tundra. Well, first you need to connect to the internet. First you need to connect to the internet. That's fine, you have, you're not even using special attacks anyway. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Psycho cut. This is perfectly fine. Psycho cut. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, there now, okay. Talk to the lady at the front thing. Uh, select anything is fine. And there we go, Latias is down. 243 shiny checks for Latias. Again? Don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. This thing doesn't exist, but subscribe anyway for the shiny lock. Yeah, that's good. Okay, no, okay, good. Yeah, just wait there. Just wait on the anything is fine screen. Hello there, the best Oshawott. Best starter from Unova. How you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, I also do love Shiny Latias. I both love Shiny Latias, and I would love to get this Shiny for my Draft League team. No Shiny Barbarical. No Shiny Starmie. Big sad. No Shiny Double. Not sad about that. No Shiny Latias. It doesn't exist. I was on the end of the Discord. All right, so yeah, you to join Dynamax Adventures, you need to be connected to the internet, and then you talk to this lady right here. You select anything is fine, and then when you're on this screen, which will have a question mark for anything is fine, press plus, type in the link code one nine two eight three seven four six. The OK, and then select Invite Others, and you'll be able to join our Dynamax adventure. All right. Sounds good. Let's go. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. Suyan. Oh, gamer property. Nice. Welcome in. Welcome in. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Croco Rock. Alright, let's go. Alright, that's a bit of an interesting lineup for me to face. That's a bit of a bit of a scarifying team. The Incineroar worries me. But then again, I have a lot of entry hazard potential on my laptop. I might even bring hazards against Kason. I'll, I'll need to look at overall Kason's team. Ooh, Kason replied. Yeah, let's see, what does he do? What does the Kason do? Sounds good. Saturday I'm free from the enemy team. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, based on that, I'm thinking he's going to bring it. That's going to be great. So, okay, for context, thank you very much whoever subscribed. For context, in a draft league I'm a part of, I have Tyranitar. The person I'm going up against next week has Iron Thorns, and I posted a gif of Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. They reacted with a heart, so I was like, all right. I'm hoping they bring Iron Thorns. I'm really hoping they bring Iron Thorns. Like, e even if I lose, I don't care. It's Iron Thorns versus Tyranitar. That's going to be great. Sounds good. Going to be great. Oh, yes. He's also Eastern Standard Time. Absolute based. This is ideal. All right. Well, let's get going. Hello there, Eden Eltim. What are you going to shiny hunt after the tiny lot house? Well... Uh, after we get the shiny Latias, that depends on what I get from a random shiny thing. Uh, we have basically three running shiny hunts. Uh, I'm going to go for the Frost Maw. Uh, pick up the Octillery. Take the Octillery because of Acid Spray. 
Uh, Bolt Hund, eh, not great, but it's it's usable. Yeah, it, it kind of depends, really. I, I guess Nido Queen, it's not great, but it's it's something. But yeah, no, it, it really depends on what, because we're doing a shiny living Dex, Eden. Ooh, Sharpedo, let's go for the Sharpedo. All right, what do we got? Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Actually, what we're doing is we go for the Galvantula. We go Galvantula. We don't go for that. We go for the Galvantula. All right. So, what we do... So, what we do... Hello there, Terramars. How you doing? Hope you're doing, doing... I'm doing very well today. We are doing very, very well today. Okay. So, plan is we switch out... Plan is we switch out Nido Queen and Bolt Hunt. Switch out Need to Queen and Bolt Hunt. Um, Octillery, just use Acid Spray. We don't Dynamax here. Hi, BB. Hi, back. I'm Max. The f um, no one Dynamax is against this thing. No one Dynamax is against it. Uh, Bolt Hunt, just use Rising Voltage. Ooh, Defense Drop, fun. Just use Rising Voltage. Because of Acid Spray. Be no shock. You know, it actually is more damaging to go for Venoshock than it is to go... Ooh, crit. Nice. Fun. Yeah, just go for Acid Spray. Overall, it does more damage over the long run. So, you go first on the chopping block. No. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, no. Switch out Bolt Hunt first for... Uh, switch Bolt Hunt out for Hatterene. Then switch... Nido Queen out for the Galvantula. Now I'm thinking about it, because like, well, Galv can't do anything to Nido Queen. Go scroll the bug. You know, Bolt Hunt is first. Bolt, Bolt Hunt is is not very good. Like, unless you're fighting like a Suicune, Bolt Hunt is not. Like, Bolt Hunt is good as support. But the problem is Bolt Hunt is so frail. Now the big worry is potential for expanding force. The worry is the potential for expanding force. That's why I'm using Struggle Bug. Okay, G Max Smite, I'm okay with this. I'm I'm not okay with that, because that targets my lower physical defense. I would have been okay with Max Mindstorm. Okay. Oh, that's awkward. So if I hit myself with confusion. Yeah, that's not good. Um Okay. You just go for the go for okay, but I think voltage. Yeah, that's why we go for acid spray. Drop that special. Come on, come on, come on, don't yourself, don't yourself, come on, frost moth. Yes! Good! Okay, that's fine. Oh, crap, right. Smite confuses everyone. Okay, that's fine. We survived. We're fine. Hello, Mudkip. How do you do? Okay, switch out Bolt Hunt for Hat Lady. Hello there, Oz. How do you do? Yes, we switch out the Bolt Hunt for the Hat Lady. And then we try and find from there. Hello, Mudkip. How warm is it where you are, Mudkip? Hello there, IDK2024. Is it, if that isn't how we all feel, that's that's exactly how we all feel. Again, swap out Bolt Hunt. Good, good, good. No, I have not watched Pokemon Rise. Hello there, that one hilarious guy. How you doing? 
Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Oh yeah, that's why we love that's why we do Dynamax Adventures, Eden. We do the Dynamax Adventures so you guys can join in on the hunt. Favorite shiny Pokemon is Gigalith. Yeah, that's the reason why we do Dynamax Adventures every day with viewers, is so you guys can pop in specifically. That's why the one rule is, if you were in the previous Dynamax adventure, wait a minute and a half before joining the next one, so anyone who has not gotten in has a chance to pop in. Wow, that is, that is pretty warm, Mudkip. That is, that is quite warm. Okay, this is gonna be awkward. It's gonna be awkward for us. Need a queen can Dynamax, need a queen use... Max Quake. Octillery, just use Acid Spray. Hatterene. Hatterene, use Life Dew. Hatterene, use Life Dew. Want well, the cold weather back. Yeah, ju just Hatterene, just use Life Dew. Good, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's fine, JSR, it's all good. I'm surprised it survived that. I'm I'm surprised you survived. But now we are decreasing its special attack. Yeah, Max Quake and Max Ooze, both of them are fantastic. Um, again, both of them are great. Thank you very much, whoever subscribed. It's okay, it's we're surviving. We are surviving. Favorite legendary is Dialga. Favorite legendary is Dialga. Yeah, just just go for acid spray. Yeah, you go, just, just go for acid spray or scald. Need either of them is good. Um, all right, that's good. That's actually very very good. Um, I'm surprised Electro Ball didn't do that much damage. Well, okay, that's gone. What? I mean, double debuff! Oh, right, Max Quake! Plus one physical, plus one special defense, and minus two special attack. I mean, that that's what cutting Galvangela's special attack to, what, half? And boosting our phys, uh, special defense by 30%, uh, 50% uh, does? Yeah. Back to crits, yes, let's go! Frickin' go! As it spray, that crit was impactful. Yes, that's good. We we don't really have a good damage options against this thing. I'm surprised it didn't target me. I am I am very very pleased with this. Thank you very much, Al. That was a rub as well. Health, let's go. Thank you very much, IDK2024. Thank you. Alright, this has been going good. Rogabug! I think an acid spray probably will take this thing out. Oh yeah, no, Max Quake just takes it out. I'm faster than it. Well then again, yeah, Nido Queen isn't very fast. That does ma that math does check out. That math does the does math is mathing. Switch out Nido Queen for the Galvantula. This is a shiny I would absolutely love to get. I was go for the Lottie Yas shiny at the end. But, I mean, it is a great shiny. Yeah, much like the rest of our Unimons. Uh, yeah, you can join the next one. 2024. You have Nintendo Switch Online and the Crown Tundra D DLC. You have both of them. Just remember, the one rule of Dynamax Adventures is listen to the instructions from the streamer. Okay, good. Yeah, you be a bit buffing. You know how to join Dynamax Adventures? Good, all right. Very good. Um, I guess we just go for Magmar. Neither of them are either are difficult for us. Doggo was bored. 
Well, I'll go abort. That's fine. We are good. Let's go all the way down the map. We want what we want the Dynamax to be the Pokemon before the most advantageous Dynamax against Latias. Okay, so it is Okay. Um I mean, in that case, yeah, H Hatterene, just focus on using life, do. Good. Um, I'm just gonna go use Tailwind. I'm just gonna Tailwind again. Yes, um, that actually will be the best if, it, uh, you do use Scald. That would actually be for the best. That's terrifying. You know, this is kind of the one case where it would be better to have had the uh the, the Nita Queen. But we're all good. That's good. That's good, that's fine. We should be fine. Yes. Um we should be okay. We should mostly be okay. Yes. Um, yeah, Octillery Dynamaxes. Octillery Dynamaxes. Thank you very much, whoever else subscribed. Um, from here, I would say Hatterene use Expanding Force from the rest of the fight on. Yeah, Dynamax the Octillery. Um, from here on out, Hatterene use just Expanding Force. Because we want to finish this fight damage-wise quickly. We want to finish the fight with damage fast and in a hurry. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Octillery. When the rain is set up, Galvantula, use thunder. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I have a 50% accuracy in the sun. Yeah, just use Thunder from here on out on 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 Galvantula. We, I mean, even outside of the rain, it has a natural, you know, 91% accurate Thunder, which is freaking amazing. Yeah, uh, Compound Eyes, hell of an ability, fantastic for for moves like Thunder and Hurricane. So that's what makes Butterfree pretty viable because it gets you know ridiculously accurate Hurricanes even outside of rain. Oh, you do nothing. You do absolutely nothing to us. Now we go for Scald, now we go for Thunder, now we go for Expanding Force. And now you lose! Uh, we are in Sword version. We are in Sword version. DROWN! Hydrate! Or dehydrate! I've already got the Magmar family shiny line completed. I, I need to go back and curate my living shiny decks again. Oh, nice. I mean, I've got both sword and shield. It's just that on my shield version, I've caught all the legendaries already. So I can't shiny hunt them because I didn't shiny hunt, like, almost all of them. Um, Eden, do you have the, uh, the DLC? Do you have Max Layer? And do you have Nintendo Switch Online? You, you need Nintendo Switch Online, and you need the DLC for it. Nobody takes this. Octillery, just use Acid Spray. Hatterene, just use Play Rough. Do not Dynamax Hatterene. I want the Galvantula to be the Dynamax. I want the Galvantula to be the Dynamax, because I want Acid Spray Spam, and I want Acid Spray to be able to just cripple this thing. Thank you! Let's take this thing down! Let's win. Yeah, Acid Spray again, one of the best moves in Dynamax Adventures. It's so good.
But yes, um, you need to go max layer. It's fine. It's fine. It's using one of its weakest moves. It's perfectly fine. Bug buzz. So that that's bug buzz without an acid spray in play. Now imagine that at minus two special defense and Dynamax. Ooh, crit fun. And I'm dropping your special attack. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's fine. So. Again, the main damage was gonna be from gonna be from the Galvantula. Again, that was just two of us. That is that's about you know what, a fifth of its health with just two of us? Insane. Again, it's all good. No need to worry. Yeah, uh, it... It's not something, say, like Zygarde. Do you have to finish the entire game? No, you do not have to finish the entire game or do the DLC. You can actually do the DLC before you do, like, any of the gyms. You, you can literally do the DLC basically from just starting the game. If you have the DLC. So yeah, no, you don't need to... You don't need that. Struggle bug. Yeah, like half. Like, actually, I was... Yeah, more like half. What is it with me getting back-to-back -back crits? Yeah, this thing's gone next turn. This thing's gone next turn. Just all the debuffs in the world. Why is it growing desperate? Why just loses? Why just loses this turn? We win. And again, don't forget to subscribe for more if you guys haven't done so already. But I think this is going to be our final Dynamax adventure of the day. Yeah, this is going to be our final Dynamax adventure of the day. I do need to go watch the Floof Dog. But later tonight, we may be going live again for some of our shiny Lugia hunting back in a physical copy of Soul Silver, or our shiny Minior hunt back in Ultra Moon. Or maybe we go live for some more of our Y playthrough. Or maybe Ogre Rousting. Still figuring that out. That is 200. 44 Dynamax Adventure checks. That is a gross number of checks. That's a bit of a math pun because a gross is 244. 12 times 12. Hello there, Mudkip. Yep. Yes, Mudkip. Let's go find somebody to go raid. In that case. I will require a picture of the flu. All right. I will get a picture of the floof. The floof. She very floof. Do, 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 do. No shiny hat lady. No shiny Galvantula, big sad. No shiny Magmar. No shiny Latias. All right. Um, let's go find who to go raid. Who is alive? Is Larry? What's Larry doing? Oh, he's playing non-Pokemon. Who is... Tax, tax is not... Uh, who is doing some Pokemon stuff? Who is doing Pokemon stuff? Ooh. The Blockbuster. The Realm. Let's go. Have we raided them before? Um, let's go raid. Have we missed your face before? No. Um, let's go raid X. Have we raided XRX before? Let's go with XRX. They're doing some shiny hunting in Dynamax Adventures themselves. They're going for Suicune. I don't quite think we can do a redirection there, but let's go check. Um, what do I do to join? I never joined someone. Let's go. But yeah, they're also doing some Dynamax Adventures, so you will be able to join their Dynamax Adventures, hopefully. 
Again, don't forget to subscribe for more, leave a like, and let's go redirect to... Is it XRS or XDI? XRS. Can we not do a redirect? Yeah, okay, we are not able to do... Yeah, we're not able to do a redirect there. All right, so we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way of grabbing the link. I will see you guys over there. Have a good day, and we will be going possibly live later tonight for some more shiny hunts. See ya! This was fantastic. And...